Good day Tarot viewers, welcome to our Timeless Oracle reading and our Oracle card for today belongs to the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle by Kelly T. Smith and the card is entitled The Void. You may be covering up the emptiness or pain within through an addiction. Okay, so nature when they encounter a certain vacuum, the immediate response of nature is to fill up that vacuum. When there is a certain feeling within a person's life that there is a sort of like an emptiness or a void within us, we tend to become restless until we are able to fill up that emptiness. So sometimes when you have nothing else to do, you feel bored and you feel restless and you want to do something to to overcome that that emptiness that you feel of of being unable to do anything so oftentimes some people know uh, sometimes uh, uh, when you are not doing anything you, some people are restless doing nothing you know? that's another challenge it's a different point of view but it just shows that sometimes when we feel that something is missing or something is lacking we try to fill it up so some people they they are restless when they are not doing anything so what happens is uh, they try to bury their nose into a lot of activities doing a lot of things in many activities in order to fill up the emptiness that they feel inside oftentimes also uh, you f we notice that when a special person dies and leaves us, uh, sometimes we find consolation in work in order to feel uh, the sorrow of the loss. So sometimes it is like that. So we try to find ways of filling up that emptiness that we encounter in our life every once in a while. Now, the challenge is making the right choices. For example, if in our life we feel that there is something, an aspect in our life that needs healing, what we choose in order to fill up that, that need for healing will determine what will happen to us in the near future. For some people, they just try to uh, numb the pain of that emptiness that they feel or that need for the healing. So sometimes they try to numb it with with certain uh, for example if it is a certain uh, uh, a certain emotional pain or a certain mental pain so sometimes they numb it with with certain things or certain substances which later on will not really actually solve the problem but would just remove the pain in a temporary basis sometimes they hide in alcohol they hide in drugs you know, or they hide in uh, certain uh, self-destructive habits you no know? so what happens is yes they will be able to uh, somehow alleviate the emptiness or the pain that they have for a for a certain time but afterwards the pain will come back because what needs to be addressed was not really addressed so for example if for example uh, there's a certain injury in the body and we try to uh, alleviate the injury by just taking pain relievers the pain relievers will just give us temporary relief but not really address the problem that needs to be addressed so sometimes the situation gets worse and so the illness also worsens sometimes it's the same also with our uh, life's journey sometimes we just try to find uh, quick and easy solutions that would just numb the pain but doesn't really address the situation so that's when sometimes addiction, uh, self-defeating habits or self-destructive habits develop and sometimes we tend to become addicted to it already because we want the immediate gratification but the situation worsens because we are not really addressing that situation. Now sometimes the universe steps in and gives us a tower moment to wake us up. In order to make us realize that it is not just enough for us to use certain uh, panacea or certain things that are not really beneficial for us just to numb the pain that we really need to address these things so sometimes the universe helps us by giving us 
crisis or tower moments and hopefully through this crisis and tower moment we will finally be realize the need for us to really address the situation uh, sometimes we couldn't address it alone and we need other people to help us and we need to have that humility to accept that we need help so uh, these are the what some some only of the things that can teach us a little bit more about the void or the emptiness that we sometimes encounter in life and we realize that uh, we need to make the right choices in addressing this void choices that will give us healing choices that will lead to something positive rather than just choices that would just prolong the situation just lessen the discomfort but will sooner or later lead to our detriment so we may have to make the right choices now let us try to read from the handbook that accompanies this card in order to gain more insights regarding the void you may be covering up the emptiness or pain within through an addiction there is a void inside of you it is an empty space that you are trying to fill with mindless activities or addictions. These activities could be something as seemingly harmless as checking your social media profile multiple times a day, spending all your precious time playing video games or surfing the internet, or overworking and ignoring downtime altogether. It could be something more obvious such as using alcohol or drugs or smoking whatever the situation this card shows up for you today to tell you that until you allow yourself to feel the pain you keep yourself from being able to heal and move on addictions serve one purpose to numb the pain inside of you the more you participate in activities like this the bigger the void gets activities that serve the purpose of shutting off your feelings are self-destructive you are being asked to let go of all your vices begin to observe all the ways you engage in activities or addictions as a way to avoid your feelings spend time in prayer and meditation and ask for help on your path to healing Acknowledge the pain or emptiness within you and your mind, body, and spirit will begin to heal naturally. Intuitive Life Coaching Questions Do you feel like you are on autopilot? If so, in what ways? If you get quiet and go within, what feelings surface? What discomforts might you be trying to avoid? Well, this is our reading for today. I hope you, you were able to find some solutions to your present challenges. I look forward to seeing you again. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.